Hello, ActiveSage here on the Sage channel, and today a very fantastic update came out that uh, might not exactly have all the bells and whistles that some other updates come out, but I think it's incredible for one very simple fact. Notice at the top and bottom of my screen, there are no tiny black bars. You probably never noticed they were there before. Go look at one of my other videos. There have always been tiny little black bars at the top and bottom of my screen in any of my Space Engineers content because I've always played in windowed mode because often I find myself needing to alt-tab do other things. They have added a wonderful, wonderful option if we were to go into video. And right here, full screen window. I'm so excited <laughs> to have this. I know it's such a simple thing, but... God, I'm just happy to have that. It's such a relief to finally be in full screen. I've been noticing it's just, I feel more like I'm actually there. I'm walking around like, something's weird. What's going on? I feel less grounded. All right, because I'm actually in the game without my start menu at the very bottom. It's a great feeling. Thank you, devs. Okay, another thing they added today, very, very fantastic and awesome, which will make a lot of people who like to role play or even just play in survival with their friends, maybe with their names off. Very happy. It's if we come into here, we can go ahead and close these nice little airlock doors. It's sort of a medical thing I built really quickly. Voila! It's a respawn chamber. Okay, what's different there? Well, you're realizing already, I'm sure, that there is a light up little selectable area right here. If we press T on that, this little menu shows up, and we can click through these, and you can see now you can select your character color. And it's already preset here for the, in the future, there'll be a scroll bar, it looks like. Maybe we'll be able to load custom textures in here. I'm very excited for the possibilities from this, and I think it shows that they're getting even closer to faction. So let's go with uh, Shadow right now, which is sort of this bluish white or darker white, almost gray. It's very, very cool. You just go up to that, press T, select whatever you want, and click OK. Very cool. I'm loving that. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back out of here. That's the only real thing new with that. And let's head out of this airlock, close these doors just because I feel like I have to, and move on to the next new thing they added in this update, which is the reason for this large ship existing. This would be our mining ship, or tunneler. It's all designed to run along a single little path. It's a bit extra long. It has fair few more engines than it really should, which is why it's so long. But it is really large ship drills, which they just added, which uh, act just like small ship drills and like your handheld drill. It's pretty awesome. You place them simply by using the normal drill thing here. Click and drag it to your hotbar and then place. Just like it did on small ships, it converts it to big ship ones. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And I'll hop in there and demonstrate that really quickly. And you can see here I actually have a bunch of storage crates. And in between these storage crates, I have conveyors hooked up to all these drills that lead it back into this refinery that we have sitting right here. So as we go, it'll actually start refining all this, even though I'm in creative mode. And, uh, right, I stuck the cockpit way, way, way back here at the back of the ship. Not exactly an ideal position. Another thing I'm going to show you while I'm demonstrating these drills is something else they've added. They added spectator mode. Now, in your world settings, the same place where you set up as the number of asteroids and creative survival, there is now an option at the bottom right called spectator mode. And it's very, very useful. You just simply click that on, and then when you're in-game, you can press F7, and it sticks your camera at a specific point like this. And you can rotate your ship around, but the camera is always going to stick right where it is. You can zoom in and out, but that's about it. That's kind of cool, right? It's sort of like a, you know, third-person view, but your camera stays put, so you can actually rotate your ship around pretty cool and move it about and all this stuff. Not exactly the most useful, though. But let's go ahead and press F8 now. Oh. Look at that. I am now free floating. And actually, if I was to go ahead and press F6 to get back on my body, hop out of this cockpit now, and then press F8, notice I have my hot bar at the bottom there that I usually have when I am in just normal mode floating about. You can even switch and move stuff around. You can even do create new large ship and place it. You can build from inside this mode. It is extremely, extremely useful, extremely cool, and it can be very, very useful in well, a slightly unexpected way that if you decide you've messed something up inside a ship, like let's say I wanted to actually put a proper inside ins to this medical area here, well, I can just simply fly through it like this, and now I can work on the inside without having to cut a hole or anything in there. It's very, very awesome being able to do all that. Now, in survival mode, you'll notice that even though it shows up as green, that you can place something even in spectator mode, you can't actually place it. Even if you get right up to it, you still can't. Which is, um, so you might say slightly unfortunate, but I think it's only reasonable. It wouldn't actually be able to interact with stuff far away from your corpse, even in spectator mode, if they are going to give you in spectator, in spectator? If they are going to give you spectator mode, even while you're 
in survival mode, which is pretty cool. Anyway, F6, get back in my body. You can see I can fly out over, and I'd usually be able to place it right there. Let's go into spectator mode by pressing F8. Gets me into free control spectator mode. And let's try to place it there, and I still can't. Even though my body's right there, you cannot place while in spectator mode. But of course, once you're in your normal body with F6 again, you can still place like usual. Now the final function of spectator mode is the F9 button which locks wherever your camera is. So let's say I want to put my camera right here. As soon as I press F9, voila, I'm in control of my character again, but my camera is locked right here. So this could be very, very useful for cinematic stuff if you want to set it up, all sorts of goodness. It's pretty dang awesome, actually. I like it a lot. And of course, to get rid of your crosshair, it's escape, options, game, and then just toggle off, show crosshair right there, click OK. And now we have no crosshair, so you can have nice cinematic shots, and of course, tab to hide your UI. It's pretty dang cool. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. Anyway, let's go ahead and show these large drills in action. Now that I've explained the camera setup, or the spectator mode, I should say, I'll actually uh, be using that while I dig into that. So let's go ahead, hop in here, maneuver the ship around, show up our UI, there we go, turn that on. Hop into spectator mode by pressing F7 locks us to here, where the ship moves, but the camera doesn't. F8. Let's go ahead and now position our camera in a place we like. I'm holding shift by the way to go faster or you can use your scroll wheel. I'm scrolling up now. Now when I move, you can see we go super fast, scroll down. You can basically continue scrolling down until you move pretty much slower even come to a stop. So you can have very precise speeds if you like. And of course the speed is constant. There's no acceleration or deceleration. It's just instantly at whatever speed you have. So let's go ahead and position the camera right here at this sort of opening and we'll go ahead and dig through this. And of course, like I said, the camera can go through things. So now let's go ahead and press F9. So we're back in control of the ship. And let's maneuver it up to, I'd say right here and start mining in. Let's hide, hide our UI. I've left click to start mining. And small impact. And there you go. You can see we're starting to mine in there slowly. The drills look like they intersect the rock a bit before they actually start drilling in. You can see the one drill at the bottom right there sort of <laughs> was intersecting but it wasn't getting rid of the chunk, so it's a bit strange, but I don't know, they're huge, they seem to do their job pretty well. I'm surprised they're not a little bit faster than they are actually considering how huge they are, but they seem reasonably well, and of course, maybe you don't want them to be too powerful, because of course with a large ship, you can have them hooked up directly to a refinery like we do now. So let's go ahead and press K, and because my character is in that seat and I'm in F9 mode, I can press K. If I was in F8 mode where I can control this camera and I was to press K, nothing happens. But when I do F9, since I'm directly controlling my character, I can press K and access all of his systems. And then we can go ahead and go into our inventory. I should just press IA. And then we'll scroll down and you can see here in the refinery, it's actually gone ahead and refined all that stuff that we had in there. And we can still, of course, move this around to any of the cargo containers that are connected to the system. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I'm very, very happy with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep mining. And now I'm going to move the camera by pressing F8 again. And because I had my hand held down on the left click when I switched over to this, those drills will stay on. Of course, you could have done that if you were in F9 mode. Press K, go onto your drills, selected them all, and just told them to stay on. Now, even if I left click in F8 mode, they're not going to shut off. Even if I was in proper, proper control mode here, if I'm clicking, they're not going to shut off. But we don't want that right now. What we want to do is tell them to shut off. Now let us function wherever I left click, because we have them in slot one. I'm going to go ahead to F8 mode, position my camera. And by the way, you can see it jumped back to where I last left the camera in spectator mode. And that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So let's go F9. And now let's right click with the drills. And you can see just like a normal drill, when you right click, it's not harvesting any material, but now you can see it's drilling through that nice and quickly. And so now we can carve a huge tunnel if we want. And let's actually go ahead back into spectator mode. And let's see, we're gonna be going like this. Let's go ahead and, of course we could watch it drill through <laughs> like this, shall we? You can see uh, from inside of rocks, the way the voxels are being deformed as it's coming towards us fairly eerie sight actually seeing that drill come at you <laughs> but let's go ahead and go back into f8 mode now bring the camera all the way out the other side now we can just watch it drill its way out of this rock face shall we so f9 and now i'm just pressing w to go forward because of course those drills are staying on since i activated f8 mode while holding right click they're sort of toggled on in the right click mode and now i'm just holding w 
And there you go, you can see them break through very, very quickly. Of course, I can just hit right click once and I'm back in control of the ship and it'll shut them off. It's uh, pretty dang cool. I'm overall very happy with this update. They've also gone ahead and rolled back some of what they did in the previous update and made the multiplayer sort of back the way it was before, which means that I can now <laughs> carry on with the survival stuff I was doing because I and a few other people were having some pretty dang serious desync issues. And I turned off the inertial dampeners up there, by the way, that's why it kept on floating. Anyway, that's that, guys. That's this update. It's pretty dang impressive. I'm pretty happy with it. I sort of wish whenever you pressed F7, it would lock the camera to move with your character wherever it is, wherever you've positioned it using F8 mode. So if I've positioned here and then pressed F7, it wouldn't jump. It would just lock it to follow or stick with my character. But unfortunately, it doesn't. Maybe that's something we'll see in the future. Oh, yeah, and there's uh, one last thing I almost forgot to show you guys right here. You know, small shape cockpit. A lot of people have been asking. They now let you place blocks along the edges like so. So now that big flat space that was there, you can actually play stuff on, which is pretty damn awesome, frankly. Uh, still can't do it up there, which makes sense since it's glass, but those little edges along the side that we were always asking for, they did it. Thank you very much, devs. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this update as much as I am. This spectator mode has great potential for many, many, many things, including just large ship impacts since we will no longer have to worry about stuff getting in between the cockpit and the ship, or I should say the ship cockpit and the camera, causing you to, you know, bump into first person for half a second. Eh, troublesome. No longer will we have to worry about that as much. A lot of cool stuff in the future, <laughs> thanks to this. Blimey. Anyway, again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.